Hi, welcome up to welcome back to our, our lecture on interactive visualization. Um, the next topic we're going to talk about is animation. Animation is uh, definitely interactive in a way that's different than what we were just talking about, with which was plotly and interactive individual plots. Because you know, in animation, you can't you know actually you know make an individual frame do anything, but you can stack together a bunch of frames to make an ov overall uh, of image frames to make a whole bunch of to make an overall animation and you can you know then scroll forward and backwards uh, through time uh, across these different images in order to uh, you know kind of interact with it that way uh, so the basic idea uh, of making animations in R is that you're going to use code uh, to draw a series of visualizations for example I might draw maps uh, through time or you know how some data set is changing through time. So you know, maybe it's a scatter plot every year, you know, XY data by year, and I have to make a plot every year and see how things are changing through time. <coughs> and I, you know, once I can make those drawings or make those images uh, sequentially, we can combine them, those images into some sort of movie format, such as a, a GIF or an MP4, uh, with some delay between images, so that we can make the animation go slowly or quickly. Uh, so for an example of that, I'm going to use this, this NOAA Met Station data, uh, has date information here, ID is location, Z is it actually a temperature, a maximum temperature value, uh, lat long, date, and this T is just uh, day of year. So we've just converted date into an integer uh, day of year. Um, so we would start with writing some functions to draw plots. So in this case, if I start with that overall data set and I want to make a plot just for one day, I would start by, um, I have this function that takes in a day, it filters just to that subset of uh, data. So I'm just looking at that day. And then it makes a plot uh, with X and Y as lat and long, and then using uh, temperature to set the color of the, the dot. So we're going to end with a scatter plot of locations over space with the color indicating the temperature. And this is just setting the color scheme. Uh, we then write a function to loop over those plots. So here uh, I start by finding the range of that T column, which is you know time, and then I set a, a loop. So I, the time goes from whatever the first time point is to whatever the last time point is and then just makes a plot for that time point. So it's a pretty simple function. You know, loop over each, uh, each day of data and make a plot for that days of data by calling that plot function. The, um, should mention that we're, we're doing this, what we're doing right now is within the, uh, we'll now make use of the, the animate library within R. Uh, what we did a last two, uh, slides just kind of looked at how we'd set up the code that was just using basic plotting functions. Uh, and so within the animate library, you have this Anna options to set some options. And here we're setting the interval between the frames to uh, you know, two tenths of a second. And then we're going to use this animate uh, function called save HTML, uh, which is going to save the image into something that would show up in a, a web browser. Uh, we pass it the function we want that will make the animation, and then we set a bunch of other options for that web page. Like it doesn't automatically play, it doesn't loop, it doesn't give us error messages, it saves things to the current directory, and then it sets up the control so we can add you know buttons for so, such as you know uh, play, you know go in previous frame, next frame, first frame, last frame, speed, etc. Uh, and then here's the file and. That we want to save that to. So that creates it to that file, and then we can just open up that within our web browser. And so that's this page here. And so here we've got a map, uh, longitudes uh, from minus 80 to minus 100, latitudes from 32 to about, you know, 46. So this actually is covering kind of the Midwest of the U Midwest US. Um, and it's starting out uh, with pr pretty warm temperatures in kind of the 80s and 90s, and we can hit play and kind of see how the temperature is evolving. We see a lot of 
a lot of spatial structure to temperature. We also see a lot of temporal structure. You kind of can see, you know, warm fronts and cold fronts coming through. Um, and we can kind of see, you know, it's kind of, it's interactive because we can, you know, we can pause it and, you know, move forward, move backwards, jump to the beginning, jump to the end. Um, and also has these nice kind of speed buttons. I can make it go quicker or I can slow it down if I need to. <clears throat> um, and this is just pointing out that within the animation library, there's actually a bunch of functions, not just the save HTML uh, for saving to different formats, uh, such as save GIF, save movie, save uh, to a flash animation or to a video. Um, and should note that some of these mentioned that they need uh, additional software to be able to work. So the, the HTML was nice because it didn't require installing additional libraries. Uh, but these other libraries like ImageMagick and FFmpeg uh, are, are open available libraries. Uh, I should also note that the, the animation library comes with a lot of extra demos. If you're interested in learning more about it, there's a, there's a bunch of demos that come with that package. Uh, another way of making animations is a library built around ggplot, the gganimate library. Um, so here is an example of making a plot, and this first bit is just what we had before. Um, Tmax data, uh, longitude, latitude, color, set a color bar, blah, blah, blah. Um, I'm now passing it the full data set. And now I'm adding this addition, additional GG animate, animate term transition time T. And so that's saying I'm going to use that column T in this long data set, this tidy data set, um, in order to tell which, uh, which points go which, with which time frame. Uh, so that's going to make the animation. And then I'm going to use this anim save to save this to a GIF. And I'm just passing the file name and the uh, the plot object, and then that would open up, you can open that up over here, and we see an animation very similar to what we were seeing uh, before. Cool, but now it's saved as GIF, and there's a lot of places, you know, GIF's more portable um, than that web page, though I've now lost uh, my play button and my pause and stuff like that. I can also embed uh, these animations in line, you know, here in slides. You know, I can do it in uh, a markdown object. I can do it in, you know, uh, any place. I can do it in, in, in my uh, R Studio session using the animate function. Again, that's part of the GG animate. I plot, pass it the plot object, and here now the frames per second, which is just, you know, one over the interval. So this is, you know, again two tenths of a second. So that's the, the kind of the high level basics of, of setting up animation in R. Uh, our next topic is going to be talking about uh, using R Shiny, a real powerful uh, system for making kind of interactive apps. <laughs>